Hey, Leo. I know. I'm not just the beauty queen. <laughs> I know. Well, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to jump right into the oracle card reading. Let's see what's happening for the next seven days. This is Leo energy, the energies that are affecting, influencing Leo, um, the messages that Leo needs to have. Um, this is for Leo's sun, moon, and rising signs, uh, or wherever it, Leo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Please remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. You are not one of Cinderella's stepsisters. It didn't work out for them. Just saying. If it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate with you, you just let it fly. I hope you enjoy the reading anyway. Remember, there's always an extended reading option. That link is right in the description box below. Right, uh, like, oh, just hit that little arrow. You'll find it. Um, that's a full tarot card spread as well as a romance reading. So that's for the next seven days as well. All right, Leo. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. No expectations. No indications. Let's see going on with Leo energy, Leo energy for the next seven days. Remember, we have that lunar eclipse. I'll attach that link above to the lunar eclipse uh, video that I did. You can check out your sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, whatever signs you want to check out. It's all in one video. It's all time stamped for you. Leo, Leo energy for the next. That's a lot. I'm not sure that I'm going to take all of that. Actually, I have, I have been taking all of it. Oh, the bigger sometimes. Well, not always. Not always the bigger the better, but sometimes. <laughs> Leo, oh, there's just this ray of hope, this hope that I'm feeling. Oh, isn't that interesting? That appropriate energy for the way that I was feeling. Let's do this. Leo, still here. Your crowning energy is sandpiper energy, which is to believe, be playful. I was feeling this energy. I was feeling this sort of effervescence. That's good. It feels like like the little bubbles that are bubbling up from underneath. You don't really know where they're coming from. You just know they keep coming and making everything sparkling and tingling and feeling alive. So there is this feeling of um, life being around you, about you, and inside of you. There's this happiness. In other words, there's this ability for the next seven days to be lighthearted, to believe in things, to, to have faith, to... What, what, excuse me, for faith to come most easily, like for, um, for joy to be, to be filling your heart. It's not necessarily ecstatic energy, but it is happy energy. It's the ability to just be in the present moment. And it's, it's almost like even, even if things aren't moving quickly, you can feel the movement. Even if things aren't going perfectly, you can understand the progress. There's a sense of happiness through connectivity. And so you can trust. That's, that's the feeling that I really wanted to get to. This feeling of being able to, to trust and let things be right here, right now, undisturbed and unquestioned. And I think that that's what, that's what is the most pervasive feeling that I'm getting is that faith is coming easily this week. For whatever reason, you are able to connect. You feel connected. And that connection isn't making things groggy or deep or hard. It's actually making them lighter. It's almost like a little balloon that you're carrying on, on a string um, with your spirituality all week is that ability to just feel or carry around that lightheartedness, that, that, um, that simple sense of jovility that is attached, that, that comes from as a result of being really connected and, and deeply, deeply having faith. But this is a big reading, so hold on to your seats. This is singing a song, singing a song. And I'll tell you, music hit me hard today, but there was a sense of connectivity through music that I haven't felt in a very long time. Um, five plus one, I'm sorry, let's go back to the crowning energy. Five plus one adds up to six. Six could be, is, is, is like six. It always makes me think of six on the tarot deck is uh, the lovers. So you can think about that. It could be coming together or, or coming into balance. There could be an essence. We'll, we'll get into it in the reading, but there could be an essence of somebody making you feel happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, Canary spirit, sing your own song. There has been such this energy of just wanting to sing. Sing for joy. Stop, not even sing for attention, just to sing. 
in almost every single one of the videos I've done recently, I've been singing. Now, I'm not a singer. I don't have a good voice, but there's joy in song, and that's what it's about. It's about connecting to joy. It's about, not about trying to be wonderful or getting attention. It's about singing to singing out and singing to nature and singing singing for joy's sake, singing for connectivity's sake, singing to make a vibration and let that resonation go and go and go. Remember, it keeps carrying. So who knows where that resonation, uh, resonation is going to keep going, where those ripples are going to flow. All you know is if you have that impulse, sing your song, speak your truth. You know, you could sing your song in words as well, but share yourself vocally with people this coming week. Um, don't be afraid to talk about, you know, how good you feel or thoughts that you think. This isn't, this isn't conversations, we need to work things out, conversations. No, this is just happy talk, you know, talk that brings joy, song that brings joy, some sort of, of resonation, not resignation, res, resonating, that's some sort of resonating, like that's emanating from you. And it could just be you sending out these beautiful, inspirational, melodic vibes to other people. Um, setting out your call, putting out your call to somebody, Leo. Uh, truth transcends illusion. So this could be say, basically saying the truth is coming out. And you know, um, you know, uh, who knows why the cage bird sings, right? And, or I know why the cage bird sings, you know, and, and it is, it is uh, for hope and almost defiance of the inevitable. But also um, there is a sense of, um, there is a sense of, um, truth that's attached to um just connecting with vibration i think and 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 being able to connect through vibration yeah truth transcends illusion the truth is coming out that's what i feel the truth is coming out there's gonna you're gonna have a reason to sing a reason to be joyful claim your independence Finding a sense of who you are. This is also a very playful energy as well. Cat is a very independent, playful spirit. In other words, their playfulness comes from who they are, not what they want to be. So this is a sense of being playful and being happy and basically taking your leaps based on what you see in front of you, not looking too far ahead. This isn't about, okay, this is a great time to commit to long-term projects. But you don't have to look at the year ahead all at once. You can, you can go day by day. You can commit yourself to a long-term project, but be here in the present moment. And that's where this really grounded, lovely energy is. Isn't it interesting, Leo, how being grounded makes you feel lighter? Being grounded makes you feel like you can fly. It's like the deeper your roots go, the higher your branches can reach. And I feel that kind of connectivity with you this week. That feeling of as above, so below, rooted, so I reach. That energy of, you know, cats Cats have a firm center of balance. And that's why they can do their, the acrobatics that they're capable of. And you are, let's face it, you are a cat. You are the cat. You are the lion. So this is a sense of that playful, jovial part of you. That, that is, it seems like it's not connected to anything. It seems like it's fiercely independent. But it is connected to spirit. It's connected to oneness. Um, and I think that it's almost like a truth is coming out or you're finding your truth and it's transcending anything you ever, it's helping you to transcend and go beyond anything you ever thought you could be. Bobcat, life is a mystery. This is about seeing through the veil and seeing through the mask and seeing right into the heart and soul of um, the, the cosmos, the universe. This is also spirituality or shamanic energy. So once again, speaking truth, seeing truth, aligning with the truth. This is a very mystical experience. I wouldn't be surprised if over the next seven days, you did not experience an extremely mystical experience. And I don't know how it will come, but I know that vibration will have something to do with it. Vibration. Um, eight. The energy of oneness, the energy of cat. This is cat energy. Cat energy is very fire energy. Um, energy of oneness sharing messages let's keep going give with gratitude and grace having abundance around you or let's put it this way six plus one 
is the energy of seven. Seven is creation. So feeling like you have everything that you need to create what you want to create and bring whatever you want to bring into existence. Like I said, starting with what you have right here, right now, and not looking any further and not looking back or not looking for the ideal circumstance is seeing what you have right here, right now as the, the ideal circumstance. This is really interesting. If I, like, if this is almost like you going through some sort of spiritual portal this week, uh, Leo, going into a realm where time doesn't really bother you. It's almost like it hasn't stopped. It's just has, it's stopped affecting you the way that it normally would in that you don't feel time or experience time as something that's past or something that's lost or something that's passing, but instead of something that is, that is, that helps you be, that is, um, like spurting out these opportunities at you that you have so much you have an abundance of what you need and I do feel like you are sharing your truth sharing your truth with somebody or a group of people so this could be yes divine inspiration like that divine inspiration you've been waiting for for that painting that you've wanted to paint or that book that you've wanted to write or that that um essay that you know the writer's block you you've been having it you will break through there will be a breakthrough this week but it's also this sense of maybe finding your direction and finding your path and understanding what and who you want to be and, and which direction you want to move in. This is um, the, the truth coming out, uh, or and, but not in a harsh way, not in a bad way, in a very beautiful way. Trust in divine detours. I was just about to say this. This Leo energy, this energy Leo, is there's so much change coming. There's huge changes and huge shifts coming. And this is just that, this is the energy of, this is a message to you saying, expect that there's going to be huge shifts coming in your life, your 3D life, not only in your spiritual life, but your 3D life. And they are going to lend themselves to those doors opening spiritually for you. They're also going to take you in the direction that you need to go. This is energy of 16. Once again, one plus six is seven. You have those mirrors here, 61 and 16, seven, seven. Um, wow, something Something destined is about to happen to you over the next seven days, and it's going to come in the form of a message that's coming clear to you, a truth that is revealed to you that actually sort of sets you free or inspires you, lights your fire, spokes your, you know, sparks your flame and, and starts to um, enable you to open yourself up. Like literally, and I've been using this metaphor a lot too, Leo. Crack yourself open, like the seed cracking open to begin its growth. You know, even if times are still dark right now, that seed is going to crack open because there's a life inside of it and there's life coming out. So the illusion of a seed is the seed, is the hard shell, that it's just a seed. That's an illusion because inside the seed really is a, a gorgeous flower or a beautiful tree about to bloom. So it's not just a seed at all, the seed itself that... that that crusty, very uh, crusty, yeah, that hard, very plain shell is actually a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's, it's, but it, it is an illusion, isn't it? Because it's not what the tree is. It's not what its destiny is. So this is either you seeing or you coming out and showing the world your destiny. Could be this, uh, um, you know, um, ugly duckling synd syndrome of, and I know that you guys are always very beautiful, but feeling of, growth and expansion and becoming like you were never that you weren't what you started out and this is that time where it turns and twit turns the path turns and now you, you actually start showing signs of swan you know it's like it, it's like that that it what you weren't just this plain thing or you weren't just this small thing or you weren't just this thing trying to be you actually were and here you are blossoming and growing and blooming um, be at home. So an energy that says it's close to the heart space. This is you being true to yourself, true to your heart and true to your beliefs. Six plus eight is 14. Yeah, 14, which is five, five. Okay, five is the energy of change. There could be change in your heart space, change in your home. Oh, opening your heart to something or someone that you never thought you never saw yourself opening your heart to because or you just saw them bloom and grow before your eyes and suddenly this spark, this heart light starts to shine where it wasn't before because 
you know, you or them, whoever this is happening to, but this is an energy happening in your life. It is, is it, it, it's like they, whatever they were, they're growing out of and they're becoming something far more beautiful. And it's opening up this heart space. This heart space is blossoming. So it could just be you seeing beauty where there wasn't beauty or you seeing beauty where you once didn't see anything but because of this opening and this realization it's almost like it's happening it's dawning so there could be this beauty or this love or this opportunity that is broadening and opening and cracking open and there was always this potential but the little seed lie dormant but just because it sleeps doesn't mean it's dead and now it's springing to life Ooh. Let spirit be your guide. This is divine guidance, divine intervention. With these trust and divine detours, this is spirit shrieking from above and forcing you to go in a different direction or calling to you, calling to you and forcing you to wake up and hear something and realize something. So this is the dawning. This is the dawning of you, Leo. You, you have both energies out here of cat energy, cat spirit. This is your card showing up in your reading. reading. So... It's telling me that this is truly a manifesting time, a truly a, an opening, a, a, a broadening, an enlightenment. This is a time for enlightenment, but it's a time for growth and maturity, for coming into a more solid, respecting, respectable, bright place. Um, a bright place. It's like it's like the freedom that comes with wisdom. You know, the jovility of old age. It's. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's that wonderful juxtaposition that is the reality that when we become more grounded, we actually become lighter and more free. So that's like why grandparents find it so easy to play with their grandchildren, you know, be playful. You can be more playful now. Why? Because you've learned, because you've broadened, because you've opened, because there's wisdom where there once was just knowledge. This is you standing in your pride, standing in your power, maybe even standing in some sort of public recognition, but you don't care. Do you see how the Leo isn't like, strike a ball? He's not like that. He's not even looking at face front. He's looking into the future. That's what he does. That's what fire energy does. It looks to the future. So you are so solidly rooted into your destiny that you're glowing. You're, 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 res you're resonating out. You're, you're sharing yourself openly and outwardly and honestly and, and really just not being afraid to be exactly who you are. And it's, it's almost like you've heard, you've, you've heard spirits call. Um, this is a hundred percent, a hundred percent awakening. See the big picture. And it's interesting that I get this card because I use the metaphor of being grounded while being able to reach up. And isn't that what this is? This is the energy of giraffe. Giraffe is really Taurus energy, a very grounded energy, but it's an energy that is extremely grounded and yet they're so tall. So they can see, not see the future, but they can see in the distance. And they're not, they're not upset by or touched by a lot of the things that rummage around or the clutteredness of the, of the ground. This is an energy of looking to the future and the future grounding you. It's almost like you've finally seen, look at nine plus two is 11. 11 is the number of awakening. One plus one is two. I feel like there's some, there's some sort of awakening that's happening, a dawning, a realization. This could be you meeting somebody or finally seeing your future with somebody or finally seeing seeing your future with a certain opportunity, finally seeing your future, not seeing your future, but seeing into the distance. You have your sights set out there and you're taking one step at a time. It's dawning on you. Somebody that you could spend the rest of your life with, maybe wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. And I just said that. This is the full moon energy of something in the dark that was hidden of a glow, a sing with the moon, howl with the moon, sing your language, sing your truth. Once again, another card of the truth coming out and it could very well be it just some, some sort of truth is coming out definitely. But this is also a sense of wild unbridled loyalty. That is a loyalty that comes not from being tamed, not from being domesticated, but from finding your, your pack. And by running with it and feeling and finding your connectivity, even in a dark place. So six plus seven, that's another five, isn't it? No, because that's, that's 13, four, very grounded energy. 
very grounded, but it's also a turning point, something coming out of the dark or something dawning on you that was in a dark space. But remember, a seed grows from the dark too. So that could be coming out of the dark too. It's this loyalty, two dogs in a row. Okay, okay, nine plus one is 10. One, this is a beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. Somebody that you will dedicate the rest of your life to, somebody that will dedicate the rest of your life to you, somebody you'll dedicate the rest of your life to. This is about finding your pack finding your, could very well be finding your soulmate. But remember how I said it was like, this is undomesticated, wild loyalty. Well, this is domesticated loyalty. So this is both, both singing and resonating in harmony. It's almost like two beings that sense each other from that are, that are, that are alike, but so different. They're coming at loyalty from a completely and totally like opposite ends of the spectrum. But at the same time, they're actually talking about the same thing. It's finding your connectivity to that other end of you, that other portion of you, that other piece of you, finding that light and dark side and finding out how to balance them out. This is finding perfect balance and perfect harmony. Ooh, uh, spirit has your back is coming out, Leo. This is Capricornian energy. So in other words, now with this reading, divine alignment and divine timing. This is karmic energy, that timing, that, 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 that Saturnian energy of, of it being right. This being the moment, the moment to act in the moment is now spirit has your back. So you're going to be pushed. You're not pushed, but yeah, you're going to be backed up. You're going to be given all the resources that you need. And I was talking about resources. It's almost like you know now. You know that you're going to be supported. This is two plus three, uh, five energy again, some change. This could be literally legal documents or legal issues coming to fruition, um, judgments being made in your favor, people deciding. But it's almost like the hierarchy or the institutions um, of almost their stamp of approval on you. It's like people taking you seriously. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Wow, Leo, this is a really big reading. Okay, hold on. And now your grounding energy, which is set healthy boundaries, which is always important, especially when we're shifting and changing. But for you and this week, I feel like it's more take the armor off and open up because this is a time when you can trust. This is three, which is the Holy Trinity, divine complete divine balance and harmony because two is in balance three is balanced and I always tell people to think about the scale there's the two sides the two platforms on either side but there's got to be that center thing that's connecting them and I feel like that's the divine the father the son and the spirit right that's what we talk that's that's what that's what the, that imagery is about is is that middle the central part where the two things connect this this is this is it's interesting it's almost like soulmate energy i just have to say that i don't want anybody like sitting out there waiting like this for their soulmate leo but this is the energy of finding that other half of you that that balancing side uh that thing and it could just be your purpose in life your life's purpose um, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Something that you thought was impossible is about to happen because this is when my pigs fly card. This is my, this is my when pigs fly card. So this is that energy, Leo, of something is about to pop off for you that you thought was impossible. Love, the energy of unconditional love coming through. Maybe somebody being understanding. Somebody finally seeing your point of view or you finally seeing their point of view because the boundaries came down and the truth came out. And now you can reach each other in an unconditional accepting way. Um, this is being able to find a healing energy, Virgo energy. Virgo energy, healing, healing, uh, uh, something that you never thought you could heal, uh, maybe patching things up with somebody that you, that you, it's not even about getting back together. That's not about, about what this is about at all. It's about, it's about, it's about, um, forgiveness and letting go and being able to find that balance and harmony and, and give up resistance and heal. This is about healing. Um, and then trust in the magic, which is a new beginning. You never thought this could happen, Leo, and you did not see this coming, but this is about a new beginning coming your way in the middle of fucking winter when we never thought that it would come. Here is that, that energy, that red, those red berries lighting up our world and this new beginning, um, this new beginning coming for you. Let's go over into the, um, 
Let's go into, over into the tarot card reading. I want to see what this new beginning is. I want to see what's going and popping off. And then we'll also do your romance reading too. That link for the extended is below. I'll see you over there.